Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. As you might remember from the last episode, I totally messed up my refactoring. I broke some tests and I have actually no idea where it went wrong. And this is exactly because I tried to do too many things at a time. I tried to extract some method and then I tried to merge some method and I tried to do some other changes and everything at the same time and it actually went terribly wrong so shit happens I did this mistake and I'm probably going to do it a million times in my life and I bet that you experience the same situation what I'm good what I want to change um, is I want to do the same refactoring but this time I'm going to try to do it one step at a time so first thing I'm going to do, I use my editor state to actually make a lot of things undo uh, a lot of things, a lot of changes that I did till I reach a state where my tests still run, which is actually this state. So this is nice. What did I do? Uh, last I, I factored out these two methods down here. So I factored them out from this method and this is still working. So next change I'm going to do because I still think it's a good idea. I'm going to factor this plus minus one thing is a minus one here. It should be a plus one out of this method too. So to say I want to want to change this column thing here so that I can have column here then I actually only need to change if column smaller state row length and I have to pass column plus one into here let's see if that still works okay great that still works so next thing I want to do is I want to use this exact method up here as a replacement so it's number of life neighbors plus equals get count if cell is a life state row and column plus one does this still work I'm going to execute the test okay great this still works so now the third thing i try to do within the same step last time is to actually merge these two methods because they look quite similar and uh, I actually think I can live with just one of these methods. So in order to merge them, I actually have to look at the changes, at the differences they have, which is only this first condition. Column needs to be greater than or equal to zero and column needs to be smaller than uh, the, the size, the number of columns that we actually have the length plus one um, so I think I should be able to move this condition into here and require both of them because at every time the column should be greater or equal to zero and it should be smaller than the length uh, of this row in order for me to be able to do this check this should be in all times true uh, property so to check this validity so far I re-execute my tests and everything works so what I'm now going to do I'm going to replace this first call of the other met method by my refactored method and I'm going to see if the tests are run and they still run and I'm going to replace the second call to the lower method by my newly refactored method and re-execute the test and they still run and now Eclipse already shows me that I have an unused method so I can actually remove this one safely without breaking anything my tests still run everything works so great what I failed to do in the last episode factoring out these uh, repeated things actually works now after I did it step by step and this is why doing refactoring step by step is so important Okay, let's see. So over the last two and a half episodes I managed to break down this 
big monster of get number of a life neighbors method, which was actually, I think, pretty much 30 or even 35 lines down to three smaller methods which are reused. And I actually kind of like the changes we did so far. I'm going to do some cleanup here, like to do another inline refactoring because I don't really think these variables are worth it anymore. It's just a minus one and a plus one and it becomes even smaller this way. And now the question is, can we still reduce this implementation to make it even nicer? And I actually think we can do this because we can use our get count if cell is alive method even to do these things because we already did some checks here and if we add some more checks to also uh, make sure that the row is in in our borders we can actually uh, yeah reduce even more of our code I think so first thing I'm going to do is 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 what am I going to do here no I have to leave this as is but I'm going to replace this one. This is just doing an excess on row column. I know that this always works so unconditionally, so it should be possible to replace this by a call saying get count of life say state call just like this. Let's check it with my tests and actually I was right, this is still working. Nice. So I think this method is now pretty neat. It's easy to see what we do here. We just go through for the same row, column minus one, same column, column plus one, and uh, get a count if the cell is alive. Actually, I actually really like that. Now let's see if we can do something about this upper method, because I think that this is really not that easy to read by now. So what I want to do now is I want to move this row checks from this method into the get number of a life neighbors in row method, which means I want to take this one and say, okay, my check is that row is bigger than zero and since I actually do a minus one here by the call, I'm converting this to a check to uh, that the row is bigger or equal to zero. This is kind of similar to this check down here. And this change should change nothing. So what I can do now, I can safely remove this guard here. And if it compiles, yes it does, I should be able to re-execute it and it still works. Nice. And now I want to do the same thing, of course, for this part here. I take the condition. Actually, I just want to copy it. I want to ensure that it holds. Again, I'm going to re remove the minus one here because I have the offset uh, already in the call. Now we see that this is actually really the same condition like here, only on the rows and sec um, sec only on the on the rows except on the columns. So if this still works, quick save, execute tests, it still works, so I should be able to remove this guard here. And if this still executes, yes it executes, we reach a state where uh, actually the three methods I factored out of this original one methods are Altogether, including the new method header, shorter than the original method method was, and I think even easier to read because now we see okay, uh, we're going to count the row above, the neighbor, the live neighbors in the row above. We are counting 
the neighbor in the in the same row column right next to us the other one on the other side left one left side right side and we're going to count the row below us and uh, also this implementation is quite neat so actually if this row exists then we're going to check it for the column to the left the same column and the column to the right this is pretty easy to read and uh, yeah I really like this change I think since uh, the last episodes were quite long and this is actually a good point to stop because the refactoring worked quite well I think I'm at a point where I'm quite uh, satisfied with my implementation I think I'm going to stop this episode here and continue another time see you there